here about 10 degrees or more. Yes, sir, them occupants come to rescue my ass just in time. Did you see the Luke say anything about coming over here looking at that broken ceiling fan? Don't tell he come by for as many as he had. You think maybe it's just broke? We need to hand me that bird back there, which is fine now. What are you going to do? I'll bang on that blade and see if I can unstick it. Be careful if you don't break it. How the hell can I break it if it's already broken? You could have been one of them blades or you could do something else. Just hash it up and put yourself over there. It's like that switch back and forth. What good is that going to do? Oh, how the hell do I know? Maybe it's just been off this whole time. Are you thinking? Yes. Nothing's happening. Oh, no shit, Dick Tracy. <laughs> oh, how the hell do they expect people to come and rattle about that nickel and nickel and dime crap in this heat is beyond me. Ain't nothing but Mexicans anymore, and they're used to it. Well, even a goddamn wet bath has a right to be cool. Maybe it's just as well as it stays broken. All it'd stir up is some dust and dead air anyway. Well, everybody will hurry up and get themselves here. Also, got find is our bleach phone. <laughs> hey! You ain't even said how you like decorations. Took me off the whole day's work from the truck stop to get them strung up. They're just perfect. Crap, that ants fell down already. Hold this curtain open for me, would you, honey? Get to heaven and hell's right out of the cool spot all along. <laughs> I wonder what's keeping Jimmy Dean. Something awful must have happened to him. Oh, um, he's uh working. What do you mean working? Where? Oh, for look at Texaco patching in tubes. Doing what? Patching holes on in tubes. Luke's getting 50 cents a hole. Luke's just taking advantage of that boy's mental deficiency. I don't like it. I don't like that one bit. Oh, He's having himself a good time, leave him alone. Luke's just making the laughing stock of the whole town. Oh, nobody's laughing at him. Oh, well, yes, they do. They all laugh. They laugh at themselves. Mona, you just think they do. <laughs> no, I know they do. They laugh because they're jealous. Jealous because I was chosen to be the son of James Dean into this world. You know, I'm surprised that you two allowed Luke to take advantage of Jimmy Dean. Jimmy Dean! Oh, Mona, for God's sake, he's old enough to take care of himself. It's none of your business. Mona. Calm yourself down now or you're going to get your asthma acting up again. You know, you're just like all those other walking and demented people in this town. We have got so much smarter than all them doctors that I spent every penny that I earned in this dog's going to take him to. Well, the truth is, he's retarded in the brain, a moron. Don't you call him no moron, Danny. I'll call him what he is. Sure, the doctors have their fancy names for it just to confuse you. But the truth is, he's a moron. Mentally equal to a child between the ages. Okay, and... Uh, what are you... Well, see what you've gone and done. Where's your pills? In my head. It may not be none of our business, but it is just as warped and demented to keep him cooped up in here all day because you're afraid of them laughing at you, Mona. Not him, but you. Sissy, you stay out of this. Being his first son, not yours. Oh, I thought you belonged to James Dean. Fans everywhere. Some trees in Mona and dedicated to the population. <laughs> he chose me to bring his child into this world. Well, three cheers for Mona Magdalene. Why, you mean a sequel? Oh, 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 I can't stop. I thought you were my friend. The only friend that I had. Oh, oh, I heard what she said. You said that he should be put to one of them institutions for crazy people. Just like all them people have been saying behind my back. I'm the truth about that. Never. Well, I'm not going to take him away from me, yeah, yeah. And neither are you. You're just like all the other people in this town. You were born and raised in this town too, miss. Our wills above the alchies in this town, while you ladies spread out a gravestone and took them all inside of you. Mona! Claudia, please call Luke over the Texaco and have him send you to the back here right away. You have gone one step too far this time, Mona. Back all the time. James Dean and me tangled in each other's arms. Under the starry sky. It's all peace. 
peaceful and quiet, and just the slightest hint of a summer breeze. Jimmy Dean! Five and die, five miles ahead. <laughs> <laughs> we never bothered to take them down. This side of 
favor of what we really could read them anyway. I believe I'll take these. Will there be anything else? Yes, and I have a glass of water. It seems to be temporarily out of water with Coca-Cola do instead. Oh, as long as it's cold and wet. Oh, when little Jimmy Dean was born, nearly 3,000 people poured into this town over a one week period of time just to see the son of James Dean. Why, he put McCarthy, Texas on the map for one brief, glorious period of time. We were the busiest and most prosperous Crescent store in all of Texas. They gave us a plaque. There it is on the wall. One of his husband, Sidney, he was manager at the time. He's since passed away. And were the signs his idea? Oh, yes. He had it all planned real well. I mean, there were newspaper people and magazine people. They were taking pictures and writing down everything I would say. Oh, I was quite the celebrity. And why, little Jimmy Dean, everybody was buying up everything in the hopes that he had touched it. And he was on a sleigh right over there on a platform in the window. Sydney had to hide two policemen just to guard against possible molesters and kidnappers. Why, it wasn't only the Crestmont neither. The entire town went through a period of immense prosperity. But even elected Sydney mayor after that. Oh, you should have seen this town. It was quite active for one its size. Now everyone's just drifted away to Bamba and greener pastures. And you? Me? Why, I'm quite content to remain exactly where I am. There's not much chance of any growth here in all this dust, is there? Well, that's a rather personal remark coming from a complete stranger. Ronnie, did you think of water pressures up in the past? There he is again! I didn't see anyone. And he was hurt and bleeding. It looked like he wanted to come in. I'm sure it wasn't just Jimmy Dean. Hurt and bleeding? Jimmy Dean? Jimmy Dean! Mona, Mona, I want to talk to you about something. Well, I don't want to talk to you. Ronnie, there's something terrible has happened to him. Oh, it's Dylan and Louise! Excuse me, did you have a ladies' room? Through the curtain and straight ahead. Yeah. 
clean us with your twat, so nice and present. Aw, then would you quit belly aching about the way you look? She's been harping about this damn dress all the damn day. Well, go on and put it on then and shut up, as if it'd make any difference. Oh, it won't be very long, I promise. Bathroom's right where it always was in there. Well, don't flush the toilet, whatever you do, honey. It's the only water left in this whole damn town. <laughs> <laughs> I just love trying to get some people from my uh, old photographs. Who the hell should? Just somebody passing through. Hey, Mona! Is that fancy old sports car parked out front? One of the purchases you made with all that money you raked in off of Jimmy Dean? There was no charge for seeing Jimmy Dean. Well, there wasn't? Well, hell, you sure did miss out on the golden opportunity to cash in on the craze. Uh, it, it must be yours then. You look like you've done pretty good for yourself. I've managed to do all right. Are you sure you're in this picture? Did you see out there somewhere? No. Well, it couldn't have disappeared into nowhere. What is of the town? Damn. I want to get her some ice water. She's gonna faint for Christ. Do you mean Martha that? Martha King Gibbons said he did not drink. Then how did he die from it? Well, who the hell are you? He died from decayed liver. He was eaten up by alcohol. You can't go talking like that to her. Sidney was a saint. He's in heaven now with God. The only time Sidney was ever in heaven was when he had a bottle in his hand. Why? It's all lies! <laughs> I think I know. it could possibly be. I'd find him collapsed in a corner, hiding from you and God. Every Wednesday night, when I came to put another layer of oil on the floor. Mona! Oh, oh my God, it's Joe! Sissy, it's Joe! Oh, holy shit! The McGuire sisters are reunited. Tell everybody they were all lies, Joe. 
Hey, hey, hey. Forget it, huh? I thought this night was dedicated to remembering those days that made us all that we are today. Only the good times. I only want to remember the good times. Oh, hell, me too. Sidney was a good man. He was He kind. was a rotten son of a bitch. Standing off to the side of the graveyard fence. I saw faces. You know who they are. He was sitting way from that day. He wasn't even around. His face was there. How many of them were there, Joe? Mr. T and a couple of them others always hung around together. The whole town was there. I saw them in my mind lined up along the graveyard fence. They were yelling and screaming like a bunch of Mexicans in a cockfight. Lester T was only doing the job the whole town has been wanting to do to me for years. That's not true, It is true! Oh my god. What could have you said? Oh, that goddamn Mr. T. Well, I'll cut his wire off next time I get my hand on it. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you hear? All right, all right. You got all your revenge out now. Hey, let's get on with the party. It's hard as hell not dying for cold beer. Where do you have beer? Well, those people can help me over in a soda pop cooler. You ain't bringing no beer here. Oh, come on, Manita. Would you turn God off for one night and have a good time? I won't have no good time as long as he's in here. <coughs> she! You ain't no she. We're just pretending to be one. Like you always did. Fear! Go on, Tanita. Give them a good squeeze. <laughs> There's no strawberry jello in these rooms. Stop! When it used to be funny, but it's not now. Oh, come on, Mona. He's just pulling her leg. Ain't it, Joe? I'm not Joe anymore. I'm Joanne. Joanne? What do you mean? I mean, unlike all of you, I've undergone a change. A change? What the hell are you talking about? I don't have to pretend anymore. You mean all this is real? Mm -hmm. Holy shit! Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Oh, good God, Lord. The wonder is a long time. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> I've seen things like you on the TV, but I never saw one before up close. Any of you? You just want to have perverts. That's what you want. Change over 
they ought to take place anyhow. Thirteen years come January. Mama died from whatever it was she died of and left a bundle of insurance money. And with it, I became what Mama wanted all along. <laughs> Ironic, don't you think? I saw me a morphodite on the travel carnival once. They said it was a half man, half woman. Is that what you are? I mean, in case anybody I know should ever ask. Honey, you just tell them all. I'm a freak. Or your friends should know what that is. Come on, Phil, let's go get that beer. I need me one now more than ever. If you see Jimmy Dean out there, you try to come back here. <laughs> Good God, get a look at her, would ya? And Louise, my, how nice you look all fancied up so. Thank you. This dress must have shrunk since the last time I got to wear it. I can't it that since I heard Did I look all right otherwise? Like a whole new person. How do you feel? Thank you. 